How's it going everyone? Daniel Rodriguez here, aka Big D. It's time to review The Flash, Season 2, Episode 6, titled Enter Zoom. It's a spoiler review. If you have not seen the episode, go to thecw.com slash the Flash. Watch the full episode there. Thank you so much for watch, uh, joining me. Excuse me, I'm a little bit mixed up. Uh, so thanks so much for joining me, guys. And uh, I will be reviewing Arrow next, so uh, that's the last of the... How's it going, everyone? Daniel Rodriguez here, aka Big D. It's time to review The Flash, Season 2, Episode 6, titled Enter Zoom. It's a spoiler review. If you have not seen the episode, please go to thecw.com slash The Flash. Watch the full episode there. Thanks so much for uh, joining me here. And uh, real quick, this Friday is when Marvel's Jessica Jones gets released on Netflix. By Friday evening, uh, by Friday evening for sure, I will have a few Jessica Jones reviews up. But for sure, by Friday night or Saturday morning, all 13 episodes of Jessica Jones will be reviewed on my channel. Of course, there will be spoilers of you. So if you have Netflix, make sure to binge watch them that night, man, and come to my channel or whenever you're free. Come to that channel during the weekend, and I will have my reviews up for sure. Anyway, uh, we're getting close to the mid-season finale of The Flash, guys. We're already getting close. I think it's the next two or three episodes, and then we'll be mid-season finale. So it's pretty damn crazy, guys. Uh, what's going on there? Okay, I'm seeing a commercial. Here we go. Uh, Enter Zoom Dude is probably one of the best action episodes of The Flash Season 2. Man, let's get right to it. First off, they plan to throw the emblem through the portal for Zoom. Uh, Dr. Light's still there. But, of course, they want to throw the... Because uh, Dr. Light has to have the emblem to throw it. So that way Zoom could like, think that... The Flash is dead, so we can go in and retrieve the body and all that. So Dr. Light escapes the real Dr. Light. She ends up escaping and everything, and Harrison Wells talks to Jesse, which in a flashback, or in Earth 2, actually, he talks to Jesse. And Joe turns down Patty of the Light case, you know, she wants to do uh, work on Dr. Light, and he's like, no. Like, you know, because he, he they already have Dr. Light um, already down and everything, you know what I mean? So Cisco is touching Wells. Because they want Cisco to do the vibe thing and everything. And I love it. Harrison Wells, he is really a dick, man. He's in the, the real Earth 2 one. He's like, get off me. The hell's wrong with you? Don't touch me. And he's just like so pissed off and everything. Wells is very angry. So Patty tells Joe that me and Barry kissed. I don't care what you guys do. I, I think that was like, she's all she's wanted like a blessing or something just to get, get it off your chest. Lisa is going to help the Flash. So there's a flashback where Wells and her daughter, well, where Wells' daughter is attacked at her college, and Arrow, we find out that Robert Queen is the Arrow in Earth 2. That means Oliver Queen died, and Robert Queen lived, and now he's the Green Arrow. That was pretty damn awesome. I was like, oh, that's a little switch up there. That's pretty cool. Poor Oliver Queen's dead in that universe. Now we just need to know that Oliver, Oliver needs to know that that happens in Earth 2, man. We need to know. Hopefully Oliver and Arrow will learn about Earth 2 as well. That'd be really cool. Linda is training, you know, she's not the real Dr. Light, so she has Dr. Light stuff since the real one left. She's training and everything, and Cisco cuts, Cisco has cuts out and everything, like that and all that, and a bunch of uh, the other characters. Barry reveals to Linda that he is the Flash, which, that was really cool. Um, it's good to know that the more people are going to know that Barry is the Flash, you know, little by little. So it's Linda versus Flash, and they're doing dialogue and everything. They have to make it look real so that way Zoom could come. And he's like, it's pretty bad dialogue, but it's meant to be that way. And uh, Linda's just so bad. He's like, I'm here to kill you, Flash. Oh, yeah. Well, try, you know, that type of stuff and all that. So anyway... She ends up sending the emblem to Zoom. The plan didn't work. Zoom takes Linda afterwards when Linda's back at the Central City, uh, the newspaper and everything. And it's Flash versus Zoom, the best part of the episode. Zoom, well, Barry gets his ass kicked, man. So anyway, he catches a lightning bolt and throws it right at Barry, which is pretty badass. Uh, they're fighting mid-air and everything, and he paralyzes Barry, most, basically, is the, the short story there. Zoom escapes... But he ends up, he shows the city, he shows the Central City newspaper, he shows Barry, he's like, you see, he is no god. He shows the police station, and he ends up catching all the bullets, he's just literally like, boom, 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 and he drops it just like that. Nice try. And then he goes, and then he ends up showing the particle accelerator, uh, Team Flash and everything. So, uh, basically he's broken the Flash, man. Anyway, there, it's just pretty damn damn scary man because 
Cisco ends up shooting him, he slows Zoom down, and then he runs, and then Wells is like, no! So, you know, he lost Zoom again. Overall, what did I think about this episode, guys? First off, I do have to say that Zoom is terrifying. The, the suit, his powers, he is truly the most terrifying villain that we've seen on The Flash so far. I love me Reverse Flash, but I do gotta say, man, fucking Zoom is amazing. He he definitely tops Reverse Flash, dude. Uh, Patty, dude. Patty Spivet is a very awesome character. She's interesting, and she's very cute, and it's good to see her. Uh, just trying to talk to Barry, and they kissed also in this episode as well and everything, so it's cool to see that Barry is in a couple, and it's not uh, Iris and everything, so that's a cool thing. The action in here, man, the action in this is fun, it's well choreographed, uh, choreographed, whatever it's called, with Zoom, I really do enjoy them fighting, uh, and the mid-air thing was cool. For the most part, the effects were good, the effects weren't great, but they were good for what what they did. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about some of the effects I didn't like in the cons. Uh, it is intense where he's showing the city and everything because you're kind of thinking this is like a mid-season finale type of thing, man. This should be, like the fighting should have been a mid-season finale, dude, because just the way that he's holding, you know, Barry, dude, he's broken, dude. He's basically, he needs to recover and everything. Uh, Wells, Harrison Wells in here again. Tom Cavanaugh does a fantastic job of Earth 2 Harrison Wells. Again, he just, he, he, he knocks out the ballpark, dude. He is fantastic in there, man. Uh, Lisa as well. Lisa did a fun job. Or, excuse me, is it Lisa or Linda? It's Linda. Am I getting it wrong? It's not Lisa. Lisa is going to help the Flash. It's Linda. Is it Linda Park? Excuse me for that if I said Lisa. Linda. Linda, Dr. Light. Linda, she is awesome in here. She's, I, I don't really care for her character, but her helping out the Flash and actually not, you know, I kiss the Flash and everything, so it kind of, you know, we got, I got used to her character. And, uh, Zoomed in into Pure Honor, man. The flashback and the arguing, because Harrison Wells was arguing with his daughter before, you know, the college accident and everything. So, you know, it adds a little bit more uh, depth to the Earth 2 characters. And Cisco being funny, always, always a pleasure, man. Cisco Ramon always getting you that laughs. The only cons I do have to say is the first half was more slower, the whole Dr. Light training and everything. That was more of the slower paced part of the episode. The flashback at the college attack. He was calling his daughter, and the, and the camera, the news camera, her phone's right there, and it says, Dad. And I'm like, really? Really? Her, his, her, the person he's trying to contact, her phone's right there on the news. I'm like, wow. Are you, the, out of everywhere, her, her phone's right there. Are you, are you kidding me? Like, really? That's, like, very coincidental. Uh, you know, what a coincidence, you know? What about the real Dr. Light? What happened to the real Dr. Light? Are we going to ever find out in season two? Are we ever going to know? You know, what is going on? I want to know what happened to the real Dr. Light. Uh, the, the dragging the flash effects, dude. Again, the effects were good for the most part. They were really okay. But there's a part where Zoom is running and he's dragging the flash. And the flash is literally just dragging. And I don't like those effects at all, dude. It's full on CGI. And when they're running up, I love it when they're running up the building, but when they're in mid-air and he's jumping, it's just total CGI. You feel like his legs are a thousand miles long and everything, and fucking Mr. Fantastic stretching and everything, you know, like, what the hell's going on? What is this, man? It, it looks nothing at all like it would, like, basically in real life of him jumping and everything. You know what I mean? It just, it looks, stay on the ground, don't be in mid-air anymore. Uh, but it was cool again being in mid-air, but you know what I'm saying, guys. It's just a little bit, like, just... He was dragging, and it sometimes shows Barry's teeth, and I'm like, that's so CGI. And I go, eh, you know, I'm like, what? Like, come here. It's really weird sometimes when they do that CGI. Uh, but other than that, I'm going to end up giving this episode an A minus, secondarily a solid B. I did think it was a great episode as an action wise. I was very entertained this episode. Again, Linda as Dr. Light, those parts were slow, but it was interesting. Again, her training and everything, and Will's helping. Uh, her out and everything. Cisco also like, sorry, gotta tighten it up a little bit. So definitely it had those comedic moments. It had the action moments. I do think the most wasteful scene out of this whole episode is when they were gonna throw the, the emblem through the portal and then Zoom never came out. That was like literally a waste of 10-15 minutes of our time. 
So that's kind of got me bummed. But either way, I'll see you all next week for more of The Flash. I think it was a great, entertaining episode, man. I'll see you again next week. Remember, this Friday, Marvel's Just a Good Jones. Stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you've really enjoyed this review or want to see more. Uh, comment down below. Let me know what did you think about this Flash episode, and I'll see you again, like I always say, next week. Enter Zoom was a fun very fun, entertaining episode, and Zoom is scary as hell. I, I, I don't know what if for season three, if they ever defeat Zoom this episode, I do not know what they're going to do with another character, man. It is seriously, seriously scary. Reverse Flash and Zoom have to come back and just beat it out, man. See y'all for the next one. Spock with you always. Mm -hmm.